So once again, good morning to everyone. Good morning, fourth graders. Last Friday, we started discussing about vegetable gardening. So as I have said, uh, planting vegetable crops is a very good hobby. Okay? Napakagandang hobby nitong vegetable gardening. And of course, a, a beneficial activity. Why beneficial? Why, why do you think? Anyone would like to answer? Why planting vegetables uh, a beneficial activity? Wala. Okay, okay. If you're going to plant vegetables, what will you gain? Ano mga makakaroon sa yo? If you're going to plant, well, it's like uh, hey, I gave you a project. I told you to plant pechay. So after after a while, so after taking good care of the pechay, in a month or in a half. Uh, one month and a half, ano ang makakaroon kayo? What will you gain for planting pechay? What will you get? Sige, tatagalog ko yung question. Ano ang makakaroon? Anong makakaroon kayo pagkatapos yung magtanim ng pechay? Okay, after after ng isang buwan kalahati, ade, may peche kayo, di ba? May peche kayo tanim. Ano mangyayari nun? Once na lumaki na sa peche, magkakaroon kayo ng ano? What will you get? Or, or what will you gain? Anyone? Kailay po. Magkakaroon kayo ng gulay. Kasi bubu nga, di ba? Magkakaroon kayo ng pechay ngayon. Di ba? And at any time, right after a month and a half, pwede nyong anihin. You'll be, you're going to harvest your crops. Okay? You're going to harvest your vegetables. Di ba? So that's why uh, planting vegetables is a beneficial activity. Okay? Because you, afterwards, you will gain. Di ba? Kasi pag nagtanim ka, meron kang aanihin. Diba? Well, there's a saying, a Filipino saying, kapag may itinanim, may ano? May aanihin. Yun, may aanihin. Okay? Kapag may itanim, may aanihin. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sino na wala kanina? Na-disconnect ka na. So yun, so as I was saying, um, very beneficial ang pagtatanim. Kasi nga, after a month and a half or after months of taking good care of your garden, of your crops, makakapag, makakapamitas na kayo. Magkakaroon na kayo ng vegetables, magkakaroon kayo ng fruits. Diba? If you want to eat, pipitas ka na lang. And of course, uh, you are very sure that all of your crops, all of your vegetables are fresh. They are freshly picked and there are no chemicals used. There are no insecticides. Of course, kasi hindi kayo gagamit ng insecticides eh. So dito nga, uh, examples, ito yung aking pechay sa bahay, okay? So ganyan sa kalalaki, yung pechay sa bahay. Once na ito ay lumaki na, once are they are fully grown. And yan, ganyan kalalaki yung dahon niya once na na-harvest niyo na. Okay, kamusta ang inyong tanim? Ate Cha, nakita ko yung sinend mo sa akin. May ano na, may sibol na, right? Oh, how about kay Ate Miel? May sibol, may sibol na ba yung inyong ano, yung tanim? Wala pa. Kay Ate Isa? Meron na. And how about the others? Uh, uh, Agu, Ate Steph, and uh, Kirsten. Kamusta yung mga tanim ninyo? Wala pa, wala pa sa Thursday. Okay, yung project nyo na, project nyo sa TLE. Okay? Project, yung magtatanim kayo ng petsay or mustard greens. Okay? Kayo mismo ang magtatanim. You're going to take a picture of yourself na nagtatanim kayo. Okay? And then, sa day, uh, yun ang magiging day one. 
Tapos, uh, you're going to, you need to monitor your plans. Okay? You're, you need to monitor kay, para malaman nyo kung kailan siya, kung anong day magkakaroon ng sibol. Okay? So, halimbawa, day 3 or day 4 siya nagkaroon ng sibol. Yun. Pipicturean nyo yun. Then, you're going to label your picture day 4. Right. Um, nawala, nawala kayo sa kawit lang. Alright. So we also discussed about yeah, planting calendar. So before you start your own vegetable garden, it is important for you to study first. Right? You need to study first the different vegetable crops, the seasons, okay? the seasons where they would grow best and the plant appropriate in your place. Just like strawberries, um, hanggat sa maari, plant strawberries in a cool area, in a cold place. Okay? So that's considering the place or the location and the weather, right? Um, kasi may, may, there's a temperature requirement for strawberries. Okay? Hindi siya pwede sa napakainit na lugar. So we're uh, we're blessed here in Mendez that uh, we have a cool uh, we have a cool temperature here. So ideal place ang Mendez for uh, planting strawberries, right? So for the month of January, so itong dinis kasi last Friday. So, uh, can you name one at least one? Ko ano ang pwedeng itanim sa January? What what are the best crops for January? Strawberry. Strawberry. Actually, I'm I'm asking for vegetables. Who answered the other one? Sino ng sa? Okay, Agu. Bitter gourd. Okay, that's right. Bitter gourd. Okay, what else aside from bitter gourd? Bitter gourd is a all an all season an all season vegetable. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Po. Sweet potato. Uh, what's that? Asiatic ah, si meal ba yun? Ako po. Asiatic ah, si cha. Okay. Asiatic cha. Alright. So for the month of for the month of January, so ito na bitter gourd, tama si Agu. Cauliflower, sweet potato, okay. tomato. Meron pa, may onion, chili, cabbage, lettuce. Mung bean. Mustard green. So ito yun. Uh, ito yung magiging kapalit ng pechay kung wala kayong pechay seeds. Patola. Bok choy. Bok choy is pechay. Okay? Bok choy is pechay. Sayote. Alright. For the month of February. Sige, can you name one piece again? Aside from bitter gourd. Mushroom. Mushrooms. Okay, that's right. Sige, uh, can you name one? Anyone? Cabbage. Cabbage for February. Sige pa. Salad. Yung diniscuss last Friday. Wala, wala, wala ba nagsulat sa inyo? Did, did you write down any of my discussion last Friday? Aside from Atheristis, of course, Kristen did not attend last Friday. So it means she wasn't able to write them down. Ayun. So sabi ko sa inyo kanina, kaya sa sabi ko noon, pag may ganyang mga lectures, especially in my subjects, na wala kayong book, you must write them down. All right? Okay, bitter gourd, squash, sweet potato, eggplants. So these are the crops that are best in the month of February. Katama rin yung lettuce. Okay, may lettuce. Patutang lika din ng lettuce. Punggo. Bok choy again. Ipechay. Bok choy. Sayote. Sigarillas. Have you eaten sigarillas? Sino siya nakakain na sigarillas? Ayun, si Ate Kirsten. Nakakain na rin na sigarillas. Okay, for the month of March. Okay, ano muna, no? Peter Gord. Squash. Lettuce. Bok choy and mushroom. Okay, yung mushroom kasama lagi. 
uh, all season din si Mushroom ano just like bitter gourd for the month of April bitter gourd again uh, squash lettuce mungo okra yan yung mga yan for the month of April meron pa yan ha uh, kasunod yan ang bok choy or pet chai sigarillas patani yan Ate Steph, have you tried patani and sigarillas? Have you tried them? Not yet. Have you tried eating sigarillas? Nakakain ka na ba yan? Yeah. Okay. That's good, no? So, ako, I suggest to you, I suggest to everyone, eat vegetables, okay? There are lots of nutrients that you can get from eating vegetables. And very beneficial siya uh, kasi uh, ang gulay napakadaling tunawin sa ating chan. Right. So, bihirang-bihiram kakaroon ng mga crumbs or stomach aches ang chan nyo kapag gulay ang kinakain. Kasi madaling, uh, madaling tunawin ng chan ang mga yan. Okay, for the month of May, of course, sabi ko nga kanina, all seasons ang Peter Court. Peter Court, you can plant this any time of the year. Okay? Squash, sweet potato, chili, lettuce. Pasok din dito ang string beans. Sino na who have tried string beans already? Who have tried eating them? Ate Cha. Who else? Ate Miel. Oh, all right. Ate Steph, Agu. How about Ate Kristen? Ate Isa, have you tried it? String beans. Yes. All right. So string beans is sitaw, okay? Sitaw. And then bataw, all right? So we're going to the months of June. Medyo marami-marami ang June, tag-ulan. Yung mahihilig sa sobrang, sa ano, sa matubig na panahon. Bitter gourd, squash, chili, string beans again. Eggplant, bataw, all right? Uh, you may may you may write it down later. Uh, alo na yung ano. Ito yung lesson ko last Friday to so um nasa ano na naka upload na yung sa ating YT okay. Okay next sa ating list ay lettuce for still for the month of June. Okay munggo and then patani patola. Sayote, sigarillas. I'm going to uh, I'm going to review this a, little, a bit faster, okay? Para makapunta kagad tayo sa lesson proper natin. Bok choy, kasama bok choy and upo. Ay pala upo, have you tried upo? Sino na naka, sino na sa inyo ang nakakain ng upo? Ate Miel, at si Ate Steph. Uh, Ate Cha, okay? On my screen nga pala, on my screen, hindi kayo kompleto ha. On my screen, nakikita ko lang is lima. Okay, kaya kailangan ko mag-switch pa ng cameras dito sa akin para makita ko lahat. Okay, for the next one is July and August. For the months, for the months rather, for the months of July and August. So, pasok naman dito ay ang bitter gourd. Yeah, oh. Sweet potato or Kamote. Kamote yan, ah. Eggplant. Alright. And of course, mushroom. Okay, going to the month of September. For the month of September, bitter gourd, tomato, sweet potato, chili. Mungo. Chili is pepper, ha. Chili is also known as pepper. Lettuce. Alright. So those are six. Meron pa sunod yan. Meron pa sunod. String beans or sitaw. String beans, eggplant, bataw, patola, bok choy or pet chai, sigarillas, and upo. Hey, by the way, pag sinabi yung bok choy, bok choy is a Chinese term. Okay? Bok choy is a Chinese term for pet chai. Okay, going to the month of October. For the month of October, again, bitter gourd. Kasi always present ang bitter gourd. 
squash or calabaza. Chili. String beans. Eggplant. Batao. Lettuce. Mungo. Patola. Bokchoy. Sayote. Cigarillas. And upo for the month of October. Lastly, sa ating months of November and December, ay bitter gourd, batao, squash, sweet potato, tomato, lettuce, munggo, patola, bok choy, or uh, pechay, sayote, sigarillas, chili, string beans, eggplant, and lastly, upo. Okay, I had given you an assignment. Nagbigay ba ako? Last Friday, right? So, may I ask for your assignment? So, first... Yes. Yung first, yung first natin na... Yung first vegetable natin is radish. Radish is what? Radish is Labanos. Labanos po. In Filipino. So, in what month? In what month siya best na itanim? From January to December. So, sa, na, na, Nakapag-research pa kayo? Or no? Hindi. Okay, sige, sige. I'm going to give you a chance to submit it until tomorrow, okay? But it, it, it was assignment last Friday pa. So, sige. Uh, do your assignment until tomorrow. Submit them. So, uh, just look at your um, Google Classroom, okay? Look at your Google Classroom. Nandun na nakapost ng inyong assignment. Uh, uh, ito double check ko rin ngayon. If it's posted already. Alright, so it's posted dito. Uh, it says here, um, Copy and answer the question on your TLA notebook. So question is, in what month or months are the following vegetables best time to plant? So ang given ay radish, carrots, garlic, turnips, corn, cucumber, celery, and parsley. All right. Okay, we're going to move ahead. So ating lesson proper. So... um. So today we'll be discussing about here the classifications or the classification of vegetable crops. Right? So there are three. There are three classification of vegetable crops. First is according to their methods of culture. Okay. The first one is according to their methods of culture. Second is according to their seasonal requirements. Again, according to their seasonal requirements. Ano ba yung mga pangangailangan ng ating halaman o ng ating crops or ng ating gulay? Is it cold or is it hot? Ito ba ay kailangan ba niya ng mainit na panahon? The, um, or kailangan ba niya ng mainit na panahon? Or warm? Warm lang ano? And third or last, according to the parts used as food. Kung ang kinakain ba natin ay yung mismong fruit or yung mismong bunga niya? Are we eating the leaves? Are we eating the stems? Are we eating the seeds? Yan. So as we move ahead with the discussion, uh, you guys will be able to understand more about these classifications, right? So let's start. So first is according to their methods of culture. So again, the first category or the first, um, the first classification rather is according to their methods of culture. And under these methods of culture, the first subcategory is the root vegetables. Okay, when we say root vegetables, these are the vegetables found underground. Okay? So I'm going to show you the pictures right there. So you can see the vegetables that are on the ground or beneath the ground. Right? So the have you seen some of the vegetables, right? All right, so go ahead. 
Okay, so first of all is under the roots of vegetables, radish. Okay, so you can see this one. It, it is the most common here in the Philippines, the white radish. You can also find some somehow. I don't know where. Uh, red, red small radishes. So ganito siya, no? Uh, if, if you're going to look at the farm, makikita nyo sa farm ganito siya pag, uh, pag nakatanim. Ayan, ganyan. Nasa lupa mismo. Nakatusok sa lupa. Okay, tapos yung root niya, nasa dulo nito. This is, ito yung dulo ng radish. Nandito yung kanyang root. Okay? That's why it's called the root vegetables. Right? Okay, that's, that's the first example. By the way, if you're going um, sa Korea, sa Korea, ang radish nila ay color yellow. Okay? Color yellow ang kalang radish. Ate Kirsten and Ate Cha, please activate your camera. Okay, don't shut, don't shut your camera. Okay? Kung ano man ang gagawin nyo, if you're going out, like just like Ago, just, um, just stay still, okay? In a portal, si ano no, sa ating Kristen na wala. Okay, just, okay, usap wala no, just leave your camera on, okay? Na, minsan na kasi nakaka-distract ka no, na, na, napuputol yung ating discussion. Okay, next example for the root vegetables ay ang carrots. Okay? Alam ko, kilala lang kilala nyo yung carrots. So, ganyan din siya. Ganyan yung isura niya pag nakatanim pa sa, ano, sa lupa. Next, onions. Onions or sibuyas. Onions or sibuyas, pasok din sa root vegetables. Um, so, the most, uh, the, uh, there are two, there are, there are two, onions here in the Philippines. So these are called the white onions and the red onions. So baka magtaka kayo, no? Uh, you can see here this uh, gold. I don't know. What do, you think the, uh, what do you think the color of this one? Orange. Orange? Okay, so you can see orange. Uh, okay, a little, a bit of orange, a bit of gold or dito kasi, uh, you can see here it's color yellow. But if you're going to cut this, onions in half, makikita nyo is color white. Okay? You can see white onions. So that's why uh, they are called white onions and not yellow, not gold, not orange. So we have two onions, the white onions and red onions. All right? Next example, under root vegetables again, are turnips. Turnips. Okay, so sino nakakaalam ng turnips ito in Filipino? So merong brown, there's a merong brown na turnips, meron ding a bit of violet or purple. Patatas. No, it's not patatas. It's not patatas. Okay, let's try Agu. Are you raising your hand? Singkamas. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, singkamas. So, babalatan mo lang. You're just going to peel the singkamas. Then, uh, dip sa salt. You're going to dip salt. And then, that's it. Diba? May masarap ka ng merienda. Singkamas. Right? Next, root vegetables pa rin. Garlic. Right? Oh, nawala. Ayan. Garlic. So, who knows garlic in Filipino? Bawang. Alright, that's right. Bawang. Bawang ang ano, root um, garlic. Okay, uh, next ay sweet potato. How about sweet potato? Kamote. Yan, kamote. That's right. Asa na iba? I only have two students. Only Cha and Agu. Sila lang ang sumasagot sa akin. Si Ate Miel, bigla na wala. Wala ka sa camera, Ate Miel. Hindi kita makita. Alright. Yeah, nakita ko na yung kanyang noo. Okay, so next subcategory under the methods of culture is what we call fruit vegetables. So they are the fruits and 
or the seeds of these vegetables are being eaten, right? Ito yung, uh, sometimes we're quite confused with which is vegetable, which is fruits. Because um, most of us believe that if that, that if a vegetable is or if if a crop has a seed inside, they are called fruits. But no, they are not. Kasi meron, because we have vegetables that have that have seeds inside them. Okay. Corn, okra. Let's look at the okra. You can see the seeds inside, right? There are seeds there. But okra is not a fruit, okay? Included also is beans. Okay, under fruit vegetables, corn, okra, beans. There are more. Um, can you name one at least? Kahit hula lang. What do you think are the vegetables that have fruit uh, that have seeds inside the crop or inside the how was this inside the, inside the vegetable itself? Apple. Ap apple is a fruit. Think of a vegetable that has Pino. seeds inside them. Pipino po. Pipino is right. Pipino. Okay, pepino. Pepino is included because actually we we also eat the seeds of pepino, especially in salads, right? Kumakain tayo ng fresh pepino, uncooked. Tapos isa sa solang sa ano sa dressing ano. Okay, next. Kasama rin sa ano kasama rin sa um sa fruit vegetables are eggplant. If you're going to cut the eggplant, you'll see seeds there. Okay? May seeds doon. Okay, next. Pepper. So we have bell pepper, chili pepper. Right? You're, we're also eating this. They, they have seeds inside. Okay? Tomato. Yan, kita kita nyo naman. You can see them. You see, see clearly that there, uh, there are seeds there inside the tomato squash that's right squash okay fruit vegetables again mungo exactly diba seeds na talaga antimano yan mungo soybeans squash okay tama kay ate cha so si ate na squash so there are seeds there and kanina may namin sumagot ali na pipino there you go cucumber cucumber or pipino okay very good very good for answering uh, cucumber and squash. Okay, next to our list or next to our um, under parin sa category ng uh, under parin sa classification of methods of culture is what we called salad crops. Salad crops where the leaves are of the vegetables are being eaten. So examples are lettuce, celery, and parsley. Okay. Again, lettuce, celery, and parsley. We also have what we know as coal crops. Okay, coal crops. Coal crops are leafy, okay? Leafy green veggies that like cool weather. Okay, again, coal crops are leafy, madahon, okay? Madahon. Green, so verde. They are leafy green veggies that like cool weather so this include yung mga broccoli spinach uh, lettuce cauliflower cabbage and brassicas but i uh, actually did, and i didn't put brassicas there since i really don't know exactly what brassicas look like so there you go so the cold crops are different with uh, a bit different with salad crops okay but lettuce Lettuce is also included. Okay. Nada. Take note of this. Lettuce is also included sa coal crops. Okay. Coal crops kasama rin ang lettuce. Okay. Last subcategory under the methods of culture is spinach and other greens. So from, this, from the word spinach, so 
of course, speed is excluded. Mustard greens. And there you go. And of course, bok choy or pet chai. Kasama rin sa. It's also included in spinach and other greens. Okay, so before I continue, is there any question? None. Sure, huh? Do you have any question about it? Okay. Can I say bibigay yung grades? Grades of what? Yung grades ng alin po? Spoon po. Naisend na nung last Thursday. Ask ask mo lang si ano si Miss Marlin about the grades. Kasi last Thursday pa tayo nag-naisend yung mga grades ninyo. Okay? All right. Uh, other question. Bukod doon sa grades. Okay, wala na. Okay, moving along. So ito naman we're going to discuss now about another the second classification this is the second one okay the second classification of vegetable crops is according to their seasonal requirements so when we say seasonal requirements is, is either cool or warm it's either mainit or malamig okay so first is the cool season crops so under the cool season crops, I meron tayong meron tayong subcategory of leaf. So these are the leafy vegetables that requires cool season. Okay. So ito na example sa the lettuce, spinach, cabbage, pet chai, mustard greens. So these are the leafy vegetables that like uh, the cold season, right? Are you writing it down or not? So if not, I'm going to continue na, ha? Okay? So pasok din sa under ng cool season crops, what we call stem. So under the stem are kangkong, right? Kangkong, sweet potato, asparagus. Okay, who, how among you have tried asparagus? Or do you know that veggie? Have you tried at the staff? Asparagus, this one, asparagus. Have you tried this one or not yet? How about agu? Have you tried it? Asparagus, no? Not yet. Uh, try, try to ask your parents, okay? Try, try to ask your parents if they have tried this one, all right? Asparagus, if they have tried eating it. And how did they eat it? Like if they ate it raw? Kung hindi na luto or they eat it like uh, deep fry or steamed, I don't know. Okay, I am just I'm just curious of how did they uh, how did they take it? Hindi ko nito luto. No, luto rin yan. So sometimes, pwede siyang fresh picked, but merong time na you're going to deep fry the asparagus and then together with some salt, of course. Kasi dini di fry yan eh. So there are lots of uh, cooking oil and then it di fry sa asparagus together with uh, salt. Okay? Minsan naman siya nilalaga. Alright. So sometimes, yung, uh, uh, like the carrots, diba, kinakain natin ng raw. Kinakain natin ng hindi luto. Pati singkamas, ganun din. Okay. Next, I root crops. Okay, kanina, uh, meron tayong mga root crops, di ba kanina? Ano-ano yung mga root crops natin? What are the root crops earlier that I mentioned? Kanina. Sa ano, sa, um, according to their methods of culture. Di ba, meron tayong mga root crops that you can see underground, under the ground, di ba? Roots. Yeah, the roots. So, so what are the root crops? Ano-ano mga kulay ang makikita natin na sa ilalim ng lupa? Singkamas. Singkamas, right? Carrots. Carrots. Ano pa, ano pa? 
Actually, tama, no? So, yun nga, mga singkamas, carrots. But now, uh, may mga crops na nagre-require lang ng malamig na panahon. Meron naman gusto mainit. So, di, so here, radish, turnip, carrots. So, itong tatlo na to, ang gusto nila ay malamig na panahon. So, they are... Um, hindi ko sinasabi na bawal silang itanim sa mainit na panahon, okay? But they are best to be planted during the cool season, okay? During the cold season. Ate Maxine, camera please. Okay, so radish, turnip, carrots. Okay, we're going now to warm season crops. Okay, warm season crops. Oh, any question kanina sa ano sa mga cool season sa mga cool season natin? Okay, we're good. Okay, rest on natin, ha? Less than a minute na lang, less than a minute. So, sa cool season crops, as a warm season crops, ito yung ating mga fruits, tomato, watermelon, squash, okra, pepper. Sa roots naman, kanina, sabi sa roots, sa sweet potato, kasama rito. Okra, toge. I just don't know sa book, ano? In our book kasi, kasama sa kasama ang okra and toge sa root crops. If you're going to ask me, They are not included, but sinama ko muna for the meantime kasi nga, I haven't researched about these crops why they're included under the roots. Okay? But for now, sige, ipasok natin sa okra and toge. Let's include them under the root crops. For now, ah, just for now. Un uh, until, I I until I search for them. 